October 3rd, 2022, 12.58 p.m. Got a lot of food, a lot of meat. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. A couple of cute cuties. Anyways, um, she's in Walmart right now, and I'm uh, sitting here anticipating the barbecue and see what kind of uh, resistance I'm going to get from my presence and the cooking, the eating, the working. The light, the sleeping, the resting, etc., etc., etc. In over 24 hours, the only thing I've eaten is one can of peas. Prior to that, maybe nothing, I don't even know. I'm watching this guy right here thinking of myself. You think you can pull off what it is I went through? Doubt it. She's been in there maybe 20, 25 minutes. Car's off, the doors are closed. I'm so tired I don't even want to take my seatbelt off. And um, the only door that's open is the passenger door, which is the door that I'm sitting at. And there's the sheriff's. Just waiting for her. It's been about an hour. She's been in here maybe 15 minutes or so. And um, so, so tired. So, so tired. Wow. There's no telling how much longer she's gonna be. She just went in there. She said she just went. She said she was going in there just to pick up some potatoes and some vegetables. And she wouldn't be long. Hmm. Wait, I can't. I'm so tired right now. I've seen so many people go in and out well after we arrived and she had gone in. I'm thinking to myself, maybe they have to get the vegetables from the back room. Wash them and bag them and weigh them for her, I guess. Anyways, I'm watching these people just leave as uh, they came in 10, 20, and 30 minutes after we got here. Well, people watching. Most undesirable, few relatively attractive. She says she's so unhappy and so depressed. So unhappy and so depressed, she says. So unhappy and so depressed. I told her, you need to find yourself a hobby. Her response is, well, I'm going back to work tomorrow. Uh, even though I won't use her place. Um... Maybe she'll uh, let me use the fan. Hmm. 
Imagine after I drink some water. And look at these two people. I mean, they gotta be like maybe four foot, four foot six. Tiny little people. Ah, I see her. Time now is one thirteen. PM the third of October twenty twenty two. Well this time I kept my meat separate. My food separate from anything and everything she's got going on. She went through a little bit of my stuff. She's got a bad habit, you go to her food pantry and then she goes through everything while you're standing there. Well, I put my stuff in there, tied the bag and she opened the bag and went through it. And I was watching her while I was in the thrift store. Here she comes, gotta shut up now. She's complaining because I explained to St. Helens what happened with the meat they gave me when I was there just 10 days ago. And they gave me a lot of food. And the other food pantry gave me a decent amount of food and gave Leslie one chicken, <laughs> that's it. And they gave me about eight loaves of bread and they gave her one loaf. And I'll show you what I got here in a few minutes. And now she's pissed off trying to say that I took her food. You can go through these bags, it's all bread. This is what I got from St. Helens right here and you know I've tied the black bag up, so. You wanna go through the bags? You sure? You think I got some of your food? Sure you do. I'm just gonna keep this recording. It's pretty hot in here. Is there any chance I can get that fan? So I can get some air blowing out. And the shaver, so I can shave this off. Can you put that damn thing out? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Or smoke the damn thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep this one going. You're gonna be amazed when you see how much food I got. 